How are we doing today? We're, We're doing good. good. How are you? Woo! I love the energy here. This is good. This is good. Because I, I, I feed off of that energy and I love it. Uh, yeah. Lily and Artian, I'm going to start with both of you because um, Lily, yeah. when did you all, when did you and Artian meet? Because I feel like you two have been friends, besties forever. <laughs> I think we actually own. Oh wait, no! We met I met you before. at. We did. I met him at an event. Um, I was doing. I was doing an event for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. I'm a youth ambassador for St. Jude, mm -hmm. and I was hosting an event. And RTN came by the event, and I was like explaining to him all the event details and all that fun stuff. And I think that was the first time we actually it met. Was. And then the first time we were able to like bond was the first day filming. It was. And we just went straight into it, and immediately I think we just clicked and. Our bond was amazing. He's like he's like family to me. I love it. And I knew you were a youth ambassador uh, when you spent time in Memphis. I was actually in Memphis last week. No and way. I knew, that, I knew that about you. I think it's great. Uh, I'll continue with you then on this question. How did that prepare you to for this particular role? Absolutely. I had the honor of talking with a couple of, Saint, of, of the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital patients and hearing their stories and learning from their experiences. I was able to take pieces of a couple of those kids' experiences and take put it into my character in order to accurately represent what a lot of these kids go through. I, I cut my hair for the show, which was scary. Um, my hair used to go like be like this long, and I chopped it to like here for but the she show. Looks great, so. she oh, looks great. Thank you. Um, but that was definitely a big step, but something that I think was incredibly necessary in order to accurately represent my character and completely become Ella. So yeah. Vanessa, how does this particular role speak to you? Because I'm going to get to the emotions in a minute with Artian. I'm definitely going to give you that question. But I want to know, you know, how this role, I'm not asking how you hope it inspires others. I want to know how this inspires you. It inspires me because it resonated a lot with me. Um, my character, Jimena, she definitely distances herself when well, she did distance herself from Ella when Ella had cancer, and it resonated with me um, around halfway through filming when, unfortunately, my brother passed, and I basically distanced myself 100% from the emotions that I was feeling because also at the time I was filming, and, you know, you have to be strong on set. You know, you can't, you know, be out of your elements when you're filming, so I completely distanced myself, and then kind of like my character, I realized that that's not the way to go. You have to really, you know, face the facts and, you know, deal with it kind of but like not in a mean way just 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 Push deal with it away. and especially yeah. when it regards someone who is still alive like Ella on the show mm -hmm. um right. it really hurt her feelings so yeah I pass along my condolences to you and your family but I understand what you're saying because you know we've all gone through a lot the last couple of years I don't have to tell remind you of what's been going on <laughs> oh, please <laughs> but uh please end already but uh that's just me talking but you know you could either cower into a corner or you can face life. And that's what I got out of this, uh, Life by Ella. That's what I got out of it. Because you need to be strong. And and to you, Artyan, that leads me to the questions about emotions. Uh, you know, I, I've seen several of the episodes already. Love what I've seen. How emotional was this role for you, being Ella's bestie? It was a lot. Um, we actually had a scene where I got to see her, like, in her yeah. bed and everything and it just all hit like right there like that people actually go through that and yeah. it was very sad and I just had to keep it keep it together through the scene because he's there to support her and be by her side and to make her smile because through those times it's yeah. you know hard to smile when you're going through so much and he had to be there for her when even if he had things going on outside of the hospital he needed to like put it all behind and just really be there for her for anything she needed so I think that's really cool. Yeah, I feel like Kai, <laughs> Kai is the best friend possible. And I remember filming that scene, I had like a bald cap on and it was, it was really emotional for me. I mean, putting myself in that, that mindset of being in treatment was really hard, but then filming it with Artyom was amazing and having that support was really great. Well, there's families that can relate to this story, to these characters awesome. and to what they're going through. And I, 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 I love the fact that, that, like you said a second ago, uh, Vanessa, you know, that you, you, you do face these things. And I, my hope, and I'm not even on the show, you, I'm talking like I'm part of the cast, but it's just that people that are watching us right now talking and y'all are amazing, by the way, I knew <laughs> this was going to be great, but it's, it's, it's to give people hope. 
And and I'm going to go down the line in, in the minutes that I'm left for that. RTN, I'll start with you again. Uh, is that what you hope people take away? Is it, it, you know, being, yes, it's sad, of course, and it's challenging, but have that hope? Yes, um, I feel like they should think and know that it's, it's always going to just get better. Mm-hmm. And when you have people that you have, like to can rely on and that are there for you and have your back no matter what they always want the best for you and though you know you feel down and everything they're there to lift you up and just bring your spirits up in general absolutely your thoughts yeah i think i think i i really hope that the viewers take away from this show that you always have someone there to support you like your friends and your family and that no matter what, you just have to live life to the fullest and be yourself and everything's gonna be okay. You have people to support you, you have your family, you have your friends and everything's gonna be okay. You just, you have to be strong and live life, live life to the fullest and seize the day. Vanessa, what an ensemble. I can see why you all were cast. It's like you all, (laughs) I'm serious. Like you all are just, I'm getting chills. Vanessa, I'm gonna give you the last words uh, about just inspiration and, and what you hope people take away. Like the name of the episode, you only live twice, and this is a story about you know living your second life, and you really yeah. have to take advantage of that because everyone's like YOLO YOLO. Well, ours is YOLT. So <laughs> you only live twice. Know, YOLT. Really I love take that. that opportunity and you know live your life to the fullest. No fears, mm-hmm. no regrets. I think we just started something. Honestly, I think I'm going to start saying that you only live twice. Hashtag um, YOLT. Hashtag, hashtag YOLT. YOLT. That's it right now, right there. Thank you all. Congratulations. You all are amazing. Thank uh, you so much. I knew it was, I knew it was going to be fun and uh, it certainly was. So stay safe and uh, continued success. And thanks for bringing this to life. You all are amazing. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have, Have a great us. day.